in here? Come and have a go if you think you're boss. All my enemies, one door. Dispose of them. He's my middle name. There they are! Find a rat. Yes, you have, Spike. You won't mind if I get the bubbles going in, will you? Oh, you're going to pay for that, my little chocolate croissant. We're very fortunate on Flushed Away because we were able to pull together a terrific cast led by Hugh Jackman and Kate Winslet and Ian McKellen. And then we've got a great supporting cast of comedians, Bill Nye and Andy Serkis and Shane Ritchie and LeFrog is played by Jean Reno. Well, c'est la vie. <laughs> oh! I had a call about Flushed Away and I was told that it was the Ardman Group and the group that had created Wallace and Gromit. Roddy is a, a pampered pet. He happens to live in a very beautiful London swanky home. When the cat's away, the mice will play. Hugh Jackman, he's just so wonderfully warm and charming and, and he brings that kind of warmth and that charm to Roddy. He's also a very funny guy. It was harder work than I thought it was gonna be. It's. It's very exacting because you get, as an actor, you get used to using your eyes, your face, your expressions. And even though your expressions are duplicated, you have to get so much over it with your voice. How did you get here? And I really enjoy that. They have got to get home. The captain of the Jammy Dodger might be able to help you. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude, Mr. Uh, captain Skipper Thingy. Hey, that's Miss Captain Skipper Thingy to you. Rita, who is voiced by Kate Winslet, who is so fantastic in this. She's street smart, she's savvy. There's a paperclip in my back pocket. See if you can get it. In the pocket, in the pocket. Rita is an absolutely fantastic role model. She dresses brilliantly. She's completely cool. She has very interesting usage of belts, wonderful Union Jack pants, excellent boots, sturdy, firm, solid, nice little sweater, ties her hair up in a groovy little ponytail, and more importantly, she's a nice person. Cool. And she's strong-willed and she's feisty and she sticks up for herself and I think those things are very important. You're not entirely the useless, whiny, stuck-up, pompous, big girl's blouse I thought you were. Am I anything like Rita? You know what? Yes, I am. And I think every girl should be. I'm tough, I'm adventurous, I'm exciting and incredibly interesting and... Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I try to be as strong as I can, absolutely, and I think it's a very important quality for us girls to have. Ah! Hello, Rita. Hello, handsome. We have the best villain. We have Sir Ian McKellen, you know, who is this magnificent, you know, um, like knight of the English stage, but, but he plays just this wonderfully over-the-top villain. Dispose of them. Yes, sir. Uh... The, the controller of all things, the lord of the sewers. Oh, he would like to think. He's a madman! Run away! He has the biggest mouth I've ever seen. He's all mouth and goiter. Mm. You can't use your physical uh, attributes. You've no body, you've no face, you've no gesture. Forget the ruby! It's the master cable that I want. You've only got the voice and you have to put it all into the voice. Well, that's a wonderful, uh, demanding exercise. Ice them! Ice them both! Bonjour! 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 The toad calls on his evil French cousin, Le Frog, voiced by Jean Reno. En garde! <laughs> so you call the frog, he's going to do the bad work for you. <laughs> oh, you're going to pay for that, my little chocolate croissant! He has a set of French froggy henchmen who help him accomplish his evil deeds. He's an archetype of a bad guy, more than a French archetype. Like the relationship with the girls. I like a woman with a little fire. But he's also an archetype of a smooth bad guy. I like that. <laughs> you find my pain funny? I find everyone's pain funny but my own. I'm French. Are we going to do it the easy way or the hard way? Oh, I think we should do it the easy way, don't you, Spike? Spike's voiced by Andy Serkis, and Spike's like this kind of little guy, and he's only about 16 years old, and it's his first job as a bad guy, uh, and, he, and he's kind of, he tries really hard to be really mean and really, really cold-blooded, you know? I suppose uh, I was attracted to Spike because, um, because he's such a... <laughs> because he's such a loser. It's time to bring out 
the persuader. Nick is absolutely lethal, or believes he is so, but actually he's soft as anything and terrified. Hitmen don't wear mittens! Take them off! You're embarrassing me! Well, it's all right for you. You've got little hands. Well, they might be a little bit small, but these are lethal weapons! His partner's called YT, who's this big albino ex-lab rat. A find a rat. You gotta think like a rat. He's voiced by Bill Nighy, who's just incredible, you know. It's just he's so so at the top of his game. Spike is small, sharp, and uh, and vicious. And Whitey is uh, big and lumbering and slow. Target at twelve o'clock. Oh come on! <laughs> Spike and Whitey, yes, they are misfits, but they're very, very funny characters. Danger is my middle name. I thought it was Leslie. Throughout the whole film, I think they, they barely do anything bad at all. They always end up in trouble themselves. Oh, dear. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> They do not repeat not a food like this in a sewer. Well, Sid's this kind of like crazy hooligan. You know, he likes eating a lot, he's kind of messy. Great fun, voiced by Shane Ritchie, who's incredible, you know, amazing energy he brings to the part. My character is a slightly overweight, quiffed up rat. How, how did you get here? I don't know. Ah. One minute, I'm in the pub. Next thing you know, what? it's a burst water main. Off I go, shooting up the pipes and well, here I am. Sid's spent all his life in the sewer and all of a sudden he turns up to this posh, plush house and basically sees how the other half live. This place is great. I'm staying here forever. What? Funny enough, when they told me I was going to be playing the part, I had no idea what he looked like. And then when they showed me, I went, oh, he's just a little bit too close to me. Yeah. <laughs> And I didn't realise, it was only after a while I was looking at it thinking, what's he wearing? Is it a t-shirt? And it turns out it's a pair of underpants. So basically, that's Sid. And if anybody's unfortunate enough to come around my house and see me first thing in the morning, that's very similar to how I look. Going over! When Roddy first lands underground, the first character he bumps into is a slug. And it terrifies him, so he screams. And it screams back. Ah! And he screams, and it screams back. Ah! And then the, 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 the slug runs away, but of course, being a slug, extremely slowly. So... <laughs> and this joke went down very well. And then as we went on, we started finding lots of other places where they could go. There's a, they start to sing. never think that a slug could be cute, but I think our slugs are, are really, really rather cute. High five! Oh, yeah. <laughs>